and I will be teaching you Chi Yoga for Diabetes today. Begin. Down in the squat pose. Putting your elbows into spleen nine and opening up the flow of energy into the spleen meridian, which helps with bloating and elimination of toxins in your body. Diabetes has to do with the yin deficiency of the lung, the stomach, and the kidneys, according to Chinese medicine. And it is a wasting and thirsting problem where you are not absorbing the sugar into your cells and the fluid into your cells. So you're thirsty, but you're not absorbing. So you will frequently have dryness, nervousness, hot flashes, etc. Now we will do an activation of the lung and large intestine meridian and the spleen. Inhaling in, exhaling hands out. Inhaling in, exhaling hands out. Inhaling in and pushing on spleen nine. And now standing up, feet together. We will do flying wing twist pose, which will help the lung meridian. Draw back your elbows to open your chest. Twist your torso to the left as far as feels comfortable, activating gallbladder 20 on the back of your neck. Stretching the gallbladder and liver meridians, inhaling forward and exhaling to the right. Gently pressing the back of your neck, gallbladder 20, your occiput, the base of your skull. Inhaling forward, exhaling to the left. Inhaling forward, exhaling to the right. Bring your hands back together and sitting down. We will now do chi yogas that help the water element, which has to do with the kidney adrenals and the whole endocrine system, which helps with diabetes. We'll be doing the forward bend. Inhaling in and exhaling down. We will now be activating acupressure point spleen 6. Located just off the edge of the bone, approximately three inches above the ankle. Gently rotating and pressing over the point while bending forward. Stretching your whole back, which is the bladder meridian, which is coupled with the kidneys, and stimulating spleen six. Tonifies your energy and the yin of your body. It should feel good. If you need to bend your knees to do this, go ahead and do that. Relaxing and stretching. And bend your head down to get more of a stretch through your neck and back. And inhaling up. We will now do the bicycle pedal leg press. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, bend your upper body forward from the hips. 
Grab if you can and gently massage stomach 36, which is approximately four inches or four finger widths below the kneecap, stomach 36. This has been shown in studies to increase white blood cells and give us energy. Pressing forward in opposite directions. Pressing with your left hand and left foot forward, stimulating stomach 36 with the right, alternating to the other side. Just like a bicycle. Pedal forward. Relaxing. Stretching. This should feel good and be fun. Now we will do embrace the sun forward bend, bringing the left leg out and the right leg in. While sitting on the floor, stretch your left leg out. As you inhale in, raise your arms to the sky and stretch upward. Keep your back straight and turn your torso slightly towards the extended leg. Keep your arms extended and with an exhalation bend forward from your hips over your extended leg and relax your neck. Allowing your head to hang down. Try to grab kidney three in the depression between the inner ankle. If you need to bend your knee. You can do that. Just want to do a nice circular motion on kidney three. And inhale in and exhale over the right leg, stimulating again kidney three. Inhale up and exhale over the right leg. And now activate liver three, located on the top of the foot in the depression between the big toe. And now go back to stimulating kidney three. Again, you can bend your knee and make it much more comfortable for you to innervate this acupressure point. Kidney three is the source point of the kidneys. Namaste.